Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, now we are going to discuss the introduction to the demultiplexers. Let's start the discussion for demultiplexer. So friends, here heading is demultiplexer. Now the main features of demultiplexer are it has only one input and many outputs. In another way you can say one is to n demux where n equals to 2 raised to the power m m is called as select lines so if m equals to 2 then n equals to 4 because 2 raised to power 2 is 4 so we have 1 is to 4 dmux after that if m equals to 3 then n will become what 2 raised to the power 3 is 8 so the name of dmux will become 1 is to 8 dmux now if you see here it has one input and many outputs means data is distributed over multiple outputs according to the input conditions only one output is activated at a time and in this way input is connected to the output. So we will draw the diagram of 1 is to 4 dmux for the explanation purpose. So design 1 is to 4 dmux. So for that we will have all the parameters for designing purpose here we will write so here we will write output as y0 y1 y2 and y3 and dmux we are going to use over here is 1 is to 4 dmux it has only one input that is you can say d in enable terminal is by default is there it should be always logic one for active of d multiplexer after that select lines as it is one is to four d marks means two select lines will be there a and b are called as the select lines now we are going to draw the truth table Now in the truth table we will write here a b that is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1. How many outputs are present over here y 0 y 1 y 2 and y 3. So for 0 0 y 0 is the only output that we will get at the active condition. So y 0 will be 1 and remaining outputs will become 0 at a time according to the input to the select lines means whatever data is present over input it will be shown at the y0 only now for 0 1 y1 is the output for 1 0 we are getting y2 as the output and for 1 1 y3 is the output for the last stage now we are going to design the expressions for the each output. You have this side is the output side and this side is the input side. Now expression for each output you have to design. So y0 is equals to you can write here as a bar b bar. So we will write here the outputs for y0. So 
we will write here a bar b bar and input input is 1 so dot 1 or if you want to label this 1 as d in you can write down d in also we have taken here d in as 1 then y1 is equals to a bar b and input y2 is equals to a b bar and input d in and y3 is equals to a b and input d in we have taken all the inputs as logic one or generally you can write y0 is equals to if we are going to use s0 and s1 terms then what you will write s0 bar s1 bar d in y1 is equals to s0 s1 bar d in y2 is equals to s0 bar s1 d in and y3 is equals to s0 s1 d in this is in general form and here we have taken the inputs a b for s0 s1 means select lines and d in we have taken as logic one so if any one of the conditions are present suppose one zero then only y2 output is activated remaining are not in this way this is the introduction to the demultiplexer Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.